You may have heard this term before, prompt adherence, but what exactly does it mean? Today, we're gonna use a prompt strategy and leverage this specific term to get the most realistic and best looking AI images. And for that, we're gonna utilize three LLMs. ChatGPT, Claude, and DeepSeek. And with each model we use, you're gonna be blown away with the results that we get with what Claude's gonna actually give us. With this cool looking drop down box of all of these different options. Okay, so first let's try the strategy with ChatGPT. And so for this, we're first gonna head over here into my prompt generators database. And at the very top, we are going to select the prompt guides and tip section. And so this section is gonna contain just a ton of tips for prompting, whereas these other sections are gonna to create prompt engineering generators or prompts that generate prompts for any particular category that you need. So back over here into this one, and this is called prompt adherence strategy. And it really is this simple. You're going to ask either one of two questions and depending on what question, even though they are very similar, you're going to get a different result, especially when it comes to the specific LLM of your choice. For the most amazing prompts databases with lifetime access and nonstop updates, click the links in the description. And so you can see the first question over here into chat GPT. I just simply said, what does prompt adherence mean? And so you can see right away, it's pretty helpful. It's going to give us the exact explanation of what this means. Now, here is going to be the second part and the most important part based on exactly what you need. Now, just provide a follow up. OK, where in this instance, I said, based off of that, please create me a prompt generator that you feel would work best in an AI image generation tool like Midjourney. And now when it comes to that second part of the follow-up, it doesn't have to be for AI images or utilizing a tool like Midjourney. It could basically be for any category that you want. But for this example, we're going to stick to AI images. And now look at this. As we scroll down, it's going to give us some very helpful details in which we're going to use next. OK, so we get the prompt generator template and all this template does is provide us like with a guideline to where we're going to be able to fill in the blanks. So we get step one. We need the subject and the action. We need step two environment and setting, lighting and time of day, and then step four, camera and lens specifications, and then finally step five, visual style and mood. And the cool thing about this is that it's going to actually give us some key examples. For example, it says camera lens and specifications. What if we don't know any good cameras off the top of our head? That's where it gives us this pretty good example, both very good cameras to reference for your AI images. But now as we scroll down towards the very bottom, it does give us a pretty good prompt that we could use a great example that we can copy and paste. OK, and then enter this into a tool like Midjourney. So for this beginning phase, let's go ahead and try just that. I'm going to go ahead and copy this whole entire prompt right here and now come over in the mid journey and then we'll first test it by pasting it here now we'll come back and see these results in a second let's go back over here in the chat gpt now the next thing that we can do in chat gpt is this we can do one of two things the most simplest form would be just to say, please craft a prompt again, but this time my subject is a supercar racing through a modern mega city. Okay, now watch. It's going to keep it going, and now it's going to give us a completely different prompt, but utilizing the same strategy that we got up here in this prompt generator template. So now we get this large prompt right here. Let's go ahead and now copy this one. And for that one, we're going to come over into free pick and now paste it right here. And now back into mid journey, you could see these four images that we got right here. So we did a pretty good job in mid journey. I also put that same prompt over here in free pick specifically with mystic 2.5 and right off the bat, amazing looking images. Okay. Xing knees out. Remember we got the second prompt for a supercar racing through a modern mega city. I also put these into free pick and look at these ones that we got right here. Fantastic job. Now, the other thing that we can do is if I come back over here into chat GPT, instead of just saying now this time change my subject to whatever subject that you want, we can actually utilize this template we got to where we can be specific and I'll just follow the path. So now this time I'll just put let's create a prompt now with these details subject 24 year old woman setting movie studio lighting cinematic and then camera. Let's see if we can come up with one for that. I'll head over into my unique keyword database. Now, this one is still a work in progress. You can also get this via the link in the description, but it is so helpful to specifically come up with some amazing cameras that will allow you to generate some amazing looking images. So for an example, let's try this one. Ari Alexa 65. Okay. So I'll open this up 
and I'm gonna go ahead and copy this camera like this, come over here and paste this in, and then right below that, I'm gonna type in lens, and now I do have a favorite lens I do recommend, okay? Let's go back over here, X this out. Let's go to lenses specifically, and I'm gonna open up this one right here. You could tell that this lens will make some awesome looking images like this one right here, and now let's go ahead and copy this whole entire thing like this. Now, back over into ChatGPT, paste it in, and now let's generate this one. Now, while this is wrapping it up, let's go back into Midjourney and take a look at our supercar images. Okay, these look fantastic. Now, back in Leonardo AI, look at these images we got with that first one of that woman. Very good job. And then free pick again. These top four are probably going to be my favorite. Mystic 2.5 does an awesome job. Now, back in ChatGPT, it did finish up this prompt. Let's go ahead and copy it like this. And again, the key details I love, inspired by the portrait photography of Anne. I don't know how to say that name, but look, we get our camera and lenses right here. So let's copy this. And we're gonna go ahead and paste this in all three of these AI image tools as well. Three going at the same exact time. We'll come back to all these images in a second just to see what we got. But now let me show you what happens when you ask this question a secondary way. And then I'll show you what Claude does. And now when it comes to Claude, it is gonna surprise you with these sort of results that we're about to get. Okay, so now back over here. Now remember, the second question that we can ask is what is prompt adherence, okay? Now in ChatGPT, we got a brand new chat. Let's see the results we get when we phrase the question this way. Now, while this is thinking right here, let's go ahead and take a look at these other images. And man, these look incredible. Okay, wow, very impressed with what we got in Midjourney right here. All four of these images look fantastic. Let's come over here in the free pick. Amazing with these as well. Again, that specific camera lens does a great job, I think. Probably one of the best lenses to use in these prompts, specifically when it comes to close-ups or of people. Okay, so ChatGPT is finished up over here. What is prompt adherence? And I'll just say, based off of this, please provide a prompt for a beautiful woman, Instagram model, 24 years old. Let's go ahead and hit enter on this. And so the reason why I specifically said an Instagram model is because in my consultations, I have been getting a ton of requests to help people generate AI influencers so they can create different accounts for them or even some very good lip sync videos. Like me, how good do I look? So we'll try this method out and back in the chat GPT, here we go. Here is this prompt, ultra realistic AI prompt, Instagram model. We're going to get the full prompt up here at the very top. And then again, it's going to give us these very specific key details that we can use over and over again in any sort of a prompt. Let's go ahead and copy this one in right here, okay? And again, we'll come back over here and paste all three of these in into our favorite AI generating tools. Regardless of which way you ask the question in ChatGPT, the same protocol can be followed to where you're going to go back and forth and have a conversation regarding your subject. But now, let's head over here into Claude because you might just be blown away with what Claude's going to actually give us. Now, now, over here in Claude, I asked this question, what is prompt adherence? And check this out right here. Claude really just went from zero to 60 really quickly. It went ahead and explained everything on the left-hand side, okay? And one key thing that's important is it says poor prompt adherence might involve, you know, some of these important elements right here. But look at this. It automatically created me a prompt generator that focuses on key elements. And that's what this is over here on the right-hand side. So depending on the way you ask the question and what LLM, and now look, I can come over here. Now, Claude made all this for me and specifically select my styles with this cool looking drop down box of all of these different options it provides. Okay. So once you have all of your options selected, select generate prompt, and it's going to actually give you this right here. Now, all it does is just basically just put in the styles with the commas, nothing really too extraordinary. So what you can do is now copy this little portion that Claude just gave you via this AI prompt generator. And now down here in the bottom left, go ahead and paste it right here. Okay. Paste it in just like that. And so this is what I said, please craft a prompt of this subject and details. Subject is fashion model photo shoot. And then again, for the details, all I did was just paste in what Claude gave me via that form. And now 
watch this. So here is the whole entire thing right here. It's pretty incredible. Let's go ahead and copy this, okay? That's the whole prompt. Back over in Mid Journey, where now we can look at the images we got from the prior prompt. Look how good that these actually look. Wow, these look good. Let's go over here into Free Pick. And again, Free Pick Mystic 2.5 really is excelling with this strategy right here. Okay, now remember where we left off in Claude, I went ahead and copied this whole entire prompt, okay? Let's paste this one in that Claude just gave us. And it's gonna work flawlessly for Mid Journey because it automatically gives us all these details over here. So let's go ahead and generate this one. Now, as that's thinking, we're gonna come back over here in the Claude and now start with a brand new chat. Now, remember the first question that we asked Claude? It was, what is prompt adherence? What happens if we phrase it this way? What does prompt adherence mean? Okay, let's see what happens here. So pretty cool. It gives us all the details just like this. Now down here at the bottom, I just said, with this info you gave me, please generate the perfect prompt with my subject being whatever you want. In this case, 24-year-old woman, social media influencer. Now let's see what this can come up with. Now while that's thinking, look at what we got right here from Claude. These images are incredible. Look how realistic and vibrant and awesomely detailed all of these are. Wow, incredible job. All different, the close-up, the level of detail. Look at that. You could even see the blemishes and the freckles on her face. This is the best one by far, 100%. So this is going to be one I definitely am going to use over and over again. This was the one from Claude. Now, speaking of Claude, back over here, here is what it gave me. This is going to be a lot more simple right here. Not the level of details, but you get the gist of what this one can do in Claude. But now let's go ahead and test this out in DeepSeek. And we have the deep reasoning turned on. Now here is the first question. What does prompt adherence mean? Look at this right here. It gives me the details and breakdown of the prompt adherence. It gives me the examples. And now it provides all of the key details. And now we're gonna say the same exact thing, where I just basically said, with the info you gave me, now generate the perfect prompt with this subject being a 24 year old influencer. And now with that thinking, remember, now we're gonna come back in here and not forget to ask DeepSeek the same exact thing, but now phrased this way. We'll wait for this to finish and then we'll go ahead and start a new chat. Now let me show you what DeepSeek first gave me. And to be honest with you, it is an assertive and pretty thoughtful thing. Now, remember we're focusing on AI images, but look what it gave us right here. Instead of doing that, it did a good job, but it said create a one week content plan that demonstrates prompt adherence to emerging trends while staying true to your brand. But even though that's pretty cool, I basically had to correct DeepSeek and that's what I said right here. I meant create a prompt to use an AI image tools, please try again. And now it goes right here and it says, look, okay, the user initially asked about prompt adherence, I provided it, but the user clarified they meant prompt for AI image tools. And now as we scroll down, here we go. Now it's gonna give me the example prompt, and then again, it's gonna give me the use case variations, all very good details, and finally that prompt tip. Amazing. Let's go ahead and now do a new chat and see if we get some different results when we phrase the question this way. What is prompt adherence? Remember, the first way was what does prompt adherence mean? And so reflecting back when it comes to deep seek, I did remember that maybe it was actually user error because going back over here into my database, look right here. I did forget to mention with deep seek the follow up. Based off of that, please create me a prompt generator that you feel would work best in AI image generation tools like Midjourney. So to be fair, let's go back in the deep seek with that most recent chat and try it one more time. Now, while this is thinking out loud, let's go back to the most recent prompt where I asked what is prompt adherence. And again, it's gonna give me all of the key details with that in mind. Now let's paste our follow-up right here. Now it did a phenomenal job. Look at this right here. AI image prompt generator template, replace the placeholders with your own specifics. And look at this. We're gonna get all of these beautiful looking prompt templates. Finally, the sample prompt output right here. And then we get the use case variations, fashion post, wellness post, viral trend hack. And then we get the pro tips 
for better prompts. Amazing job, okay? That was based off the first phrasing of the question. Let's go back to this one. What is prompt adherence? Okay, remember, it gave us all of this. I put in my follow-up right here, and now let's see what happens here. You can see two same exact topics, but the phrasing is important because it's gonna give us a different protocol to where with this method, we get a breakdown with these bulleted points, and now we're gonna get these example prompts and then the explanations of why it works, and then some advanced tips. So based off of Deep Seek's model, I would say when I phrase it with what does prompt adherence mean, and then I include my follow-up prompt about making AI images in mid-journey, this one is definitely gonna win because I get all of these different templates and then these different case variations and prompts to try out. Thank you so much for watching this video, and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I'll see you next time. Jordan.